Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I get the most out of MLV RAW using DaVinci Resolve. I've been trying to figure out the best way to retain the highlights that were clipped from my RAW DNG files without it making the mids and shadows too dark. So if you guys want to see how I managed to do that, keep watching this video and I'll leave a link for the programs used below. Alright, so I have my MLV files right here. I'm going to put it into MLV app and select Chroma Smooth 3x3 for all of them. Afterwards, I'm going to click on the export settings and select Cinema DNG Lossless. And I have everything else unchecked unless I really need the audio from the recording, which I don't. And after that, you can hold shift and select all of the files and export it into your folder. And I will get back to it once I am done exporting. All right, so I rendered these files into DNG. I'm gonna place them into DaVinci Resolve's timeline. I'm gonna change this and click on the colors tab. Now in the first clip, I shot it with anamorphic mode or 1x3 binning on Magic Lantern, so I'm going to stretch that out. There we go. And as you can see here, I clipped it or I purposely clipped it just a little bit to show you what it looks like and how I'm going to recover that. So how I'm going to do that is click File, Project Settings, click Color Management, and select color managed turn off automatic color management click custom and for the color space i'm going to use re log c for both and for the output color space and output gamut i'm going to select rec 709 gamma 2.4 and rec 709 now what you need to do is uncheck use inverse DRT for SDR to HDR conversion. If you don't do this, your highlights will be clipped. So I'm going to uncheck that and show you. And there you go. So now the highlights are brought down and now I'm going to select my decode using as clip and click on highlight recovery. And as you can see, my highlights have been recovered and I can properly expose this to what I've seen on the camera, which is about 1.15. Yeah, that's about right. I sometimes bump it up or bump the sharpness up to 25. This is generally what I bump it up to. And I change the tint just a little bit. I pull it down to around 6 or 9, uh, 5.9. And that is all I really do to the file. It is a bit washed out, but you can select the clips by holding shift and clicking at the end and click use settings. And all of these settings should have the same effect on them. Now, after that, you can change the color temperature. I know that this was around 7,000. So I'm going to do that, this one as well and this one as well. And that is about it for the color management. After that, it is a bit washed out, so you can do your color grading right here. You can do color correcting first and then do color grading. And um, you can just add a bit of contrast. I don't really do too much. I do about like right here and then you can boost the saturation a little bit it's around here and just like this copy paste and that's about it that that is as simple as i'm gonna get for this video and to export it you want to usually select custom and i usually use format quicktime codec h264 or h.264 and for advanced 
I would click force sizing to the highest quality and force debayer to highest quality. You can change your resolution to whatever you want. I usually go for 4K, but you can use you know, exactly whatever you want. And that is about it on how to get the most out of your DNG file when it comes to clipping and not having the image look right when you put it into DaVinci Resolve. I had a lot of problems trying to use DNG on here and this was probably the easiest way to do it for me. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to click the like button and comment down below if you have any suggestions on how to use DNG files in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.